So of course we talked about the Lojas bulbs before, how they're still one of our favorite bulbs. Now recently after we did our smart bulb comparison video, Lojas changed the bulb up to add that warm white channel. That was kind of the one of the number one problems that people were complaining about that bulb because they just didn't want cool white and they also wanted warm white at a bright value. And sometimes just mixing in the RGB to the cool white at a high value, it just sometimes those cool whites just overdrive the RGB and still makes it a cool white. So no longer a problem with these bulbs. They are, they do have the warm white channel and you can go between them. And a lot of times people will call them an RGB CT bulb. It makes it kind of simple to type out because sometimes you have the RGB WW and people wonder if that's warm white or cool white. So when you see plus CT, you know that's the color temperature bulb. So you get the two channels of white. So the only problem I did find with this new bulb is they did away with the RXTX pad. So of course, if you do have that uh-oh moment and you brick the bulb for some reason going between Tasmodo or ESP Home or whatever it might be, well, it's probably going to have a difficult time trying to recover this board via serial. So I wish they would have kept the RX and TX pads available for us so of course we could recover it when needed. But I guess there is a trade-off on things when they're doing a redesign to bring in the warm white. So of course, like we did before in our smart bulb comparison video, we took the Lux sensor at the bottom and put it on the little wooden post. And we took all the various readings of every single channel. And of course, for the warm white, we couldn't compare that to the previous Lojas bulb. We chose the Riofu bulb and compared those two warm whites together. So just like previously, we did take the DSLR camera, turn off all the automatic settings and find a good setting that would allow us to show the true brightness and colors of each color channel on each bulb. So we'll go ahead and run through and show you all the slides and then we'll let you decide and show you the data and the number of each bulb so you can really see the difference. Is the newer one better or is the older one better or is it kind of both ways where one channel is better than the other or not. So there you have it. Maybe then you do like the new one. They are pretty close in some channels. Of course, you do see the red is a lot less on the newer version, and yet the green is a little bit brighter from the, compared to the older version. They're still great bulbs. You can see they do blow out the Riofu bulb, which is still a decently visible bulb on all the colors. So it's still a vibrant colored bulb, but it's just a little bit weaker on some of the color channels. But I guess that's going to be a trade-off when you are working in a fifth channel. So all in all, it's still a great bulb. Wish they would have kept the RX and TX pads, but hey, at least you got your five channels and you can do your warm white, cool white, and all your different colors. And of course they did change to a PWM output. Makes it a little easier to configure in Tasmodo, ESP Home, or whatever open source firmware. Or of course you could still just use it with the Tuya app if you dare. So one thing we did find with the newer bulb, it does have a little bit less Wi-Fi signal. As you can see from the UniFi controller, we did compare the two bulbs together as well as a stock bulb with the stock to your firmware, nothing modified, and still the Wi-Fi signal wasn't as good as the previous one. And just to make sure, I checked out the Riofu bulb to compare it as well, just to make sure and have another reference of Wi-Fi signal. So just keep that in mind with the newer bulbs, it's not gonna have as great as a Wi-Fi signal as it did as the previous bulbs. But of course, if you do run, say like we do with Ubiquiti Unify access points, that's just not really an issue with this in most of the places in the house. But we wanted to make note of it just in case you did have some fringe areas you're using these bulbs in. So that's all there is to it. Quick little comparison of the new and old Lojas bulbs. Of course, we knew something was going to change right when we posted the comparison video. And a couple things did change based on they got the new Lojas bulbs and the InShine bulbs that did so well. Well, they're not so well anymore. They changed those to the RTL chipset so you cannot flash them with your open source firmware that you would like to use. Shame on them. So Lojas, if you're watching this, 
stick with the ESP8266, or if you have to move up to something, the ESP32, you're definitely gonna sell bulbs to the market wanting to use it in the regular apps, as well as the DIY tinkerers like ourselves that wanna use them in various other apps. You'll be able to sell to two markets and increase your sales. It's a win-win for everybody. And of course, one request we would love to see if you could keep those RX and TX pads as well as the 3.3 GPIO zero and ground, we would greatly appreciate if you could do that. And you'll keep selling those bulbs to many of us DIY tinkerers as well as your other crowd. So I appreciate all the Patreon supporters. Definitely thank you each month for supporting the channel and bringing new content to the channel for everyone. And like always, if you're not a subscriber, hit that button, hit that bell icon, and y'all take care.